One of the types of cancers that you talk about in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide is lymphoma. First of all, I will start with you, Dr. Dressler. What are the signs and symptoms that a dog guardian might see if their dog has lymphoma? Well, lymphoma is a strange cancer in that lymphoma starts as a spread cancer. It usually doesn't form a single bump. And lymphoma many times is discovered by the veterinarian during a physical exam where they feel the lymph nodes, uh, which are, can be located underneath the jaw or in front of the shoulders or in the legs or in the groin, are swollen. And those feel like bumps. And uh, sometimes a guardian will notice this too. And they'll, they'll come in and, to, the, to the vets and they'll say to me, well... Uh, Dr. D, uh, what are all these bumps uh, underneath my dog's chin? Or I feel these bumps in the back legs or these types of things. And these bumps can swell many times without the dog actually showing signs of illness. That would be things like decreased appetite or vomiting or diarrhea or thirst changes and these types of signs. So typically with lymphoma, you'll see one or the other or both. In other words, swollen lymph nodes or some change in behavior that would let you know that your dog is not feeling well. Dr. Ettinger. Yeah, I think lymphoma is, as, as uh, Dr. Dressel said, a unique cancer in that it's systemic, that it spreads throughout the body. Um, and it is one of those cancers where once your veterinarian has made the diagnosis, I encourage you to get in into a specialist as quickly as possible because it's really, it's a little scary in the sense that it, it is a pretty rapidly progressing cancer. And without treatment, you know, most dogs only live on average a month. On the flip side, it, in my opinion, it's one of the more treatable cancers in that treatment, the basis of, chem of treatment is chemotherapy. Dogs live well and they live longer with treatment and on average will live well over a year, you know, 13 or 14 months. So it's a rapidly progressive cancer, but in my opinion, a very treatable cancer, but it's one that you wanna make a rapid decision and you wanna get in and see a specialist sooner rather than later. Uh, Dr. Dressler, any final thoughts on lymphoma? Lymphoma, like other cancers, should be treated by looking at the whole toolbox, the entire array of treatments. Lymphoma is not one where we use surgery often because the cancer cells are spread throughout the body. They start in the lymphatics and they are moving around the body, so we don't really have a mass to remove. We also sometimes will use radiation from time to time. Chemotherapy is the foundation of uh, conventional uh, uh, treatment for lymphosarcoma, and we must include, to, to really get maximum survival advantage and maximum life quality, also diet and apotogens, which are, which are substances that uh, turn on cell suicide and cancer cells, uh, and the other uh, full-spectrum uh, approaches which can really help us, uh, which are outlined in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. A lot of information on lymphoma, if your dog has lymphoma, in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Dr. Ettinger in New York and Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. you.